Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Thursday, June 20th, 2 a.m. Mountain Time, 2019. We're about to look at Anna Krakatoa. And you're looking at the newly exploded Caldera Rim. Anna Krakatau in the Sunda Strait of Indonesia. Beautiful footage. Hey, Lau! Look at that mug. Coming to you from Volcano Discovery. We've just discovered it. We'll get to it. Keep calm, it's boom time. White screen. Colorado weather, summer snow in the mountains this weekend. Chilly in Denver. Can you believe it? I can, it's a headline. And we can't read you anything because nothing's being read. Drier and warmer weather will return to blah 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 blue. But what we want to get to is right there. And we just showed you. We're going to show it to you again. Boom! Forecast 10 p.m. Frisco, Fort Collins, West Boulder, Aspen, Salida. Mm, it's snowing in summer. What a bummer. Mountain snow, mainly above 10,000 Saturday night. That is your plight. What? It's Thursday. Holy shit, that's coming. Coming to a town near you. Day before summer. Welcome to the weekend. We'll be skiing. Summer starts Friday, but parts of Canada has thunder snow. Thunder snicky snow. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, we're not really doing so well on this program, are we, tonight? Driving in the mountains can be tricky at best of times. It's because of this plasma ball. It's been causing us trouble all night. The closer I get it to me, the more uh, bad things happen. Now, according to Environment Canada, there was not only snow. June, fairly typical to see thunderstorms throughout the interior of British Columbia. Here he is, upper kids. Provided the perfect stage paired with low freezing levels to produce thunder snow. There it is in southwest of Lytton and reports all along through the interior of snow spilling down towards the highway passes on the Coquihalla and Highway 97C, uh, the connector as well, dealing with snow. So that's the thunder snow being reported, but this is what the webcams looked like on the Coquihalla on Wednesday, that freezing level. Uh, really dropped in the snow level here, 10,080 meters, and we're getting some slushy accumulating snows onto some grassy surfaces. But we go up to, say, 1,600 meters. It was a bit of a different story. That had accumulating snows on the roads. Uh, that's the Okanagan connector. So that is a really icy drop. Get your hole! Freezing levels really fluctuating uh, at times. The heavier precipitation can really drop that snow level into the mountain passes. Drop it like it's hot. Summer revealed. There is no summer. It's a bummer. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen the corn futures? Holy! Sh looks more like crypto. That looks like my Litecoin chart. <laughs> Maybe it's even looking like a little bit like Bitcoin. They're the future. There is the future of the rest of your lives. And we're talking ZC1 corn. Holy, 22.78% boom. If we triangulate this based on the gestation of the situation, on the infatuation of the reglobulation of the grand solar minimation of the future, well, you have no idea what I'm talking about. No one does. 
No one in the universe has any idea where this 51 inches of snow came from either in Alberta. And we're talking the first five days of summer. It's going to be a bummer there. Ha! As well as down here in Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, and other places where snow will be taking places. Why is everything white screened? You know why? Because I'm away from home. No, actually, I'm at home. That's the problem. Japan earthquake causes minor tsunami 16 hurt. Let me get you to read that. Why are we here? Five minutes, 50 seconds in. Technical difficulties galore. Where is Al Gore? Nobody knows. I can't move this. I have no idea why. A strong 6.4 magnitude earthquake rocked Japan, sparking a tsunami advisory that was later lifted with no reports other than a plasmosphere. Yes. Can you see me touching that? Oh my God. I'm just touching that. Only a handful of light injuries in this earthquake. The nation's meteorological agency had warned Tuesday that a wave of one meter to three could hit the coast of Sea of Japan, North Tokyo, but only a small ripple of 10 centimeters was recorded. That's a mint. That's tiny. That's tippy touch. Lake Louise snow forecast seven and fourteen day snow expected June twentieth. Two centimeters next seven day eighteen centimeters of snow. Ho ho ho. Because that brings you right into summer, that which is probably a bummer. Another bummer, India's sixth biggest city is almost entirely out of water. Yeah, which people need to drink water plants with. And these fish are already dead, if you ask me. New Delhi, the floor of the Chandrabhyankman Reservoir is cracked open, dry, sun-baked, and so on and so forth. And these fish in this picture are dead. Deader than a doornail. Earthquake swarm reveals missing piece of tectonic plate volcanic puzzle. If you look at the chart, it's very clear. Here's the crust, ocean crust, lithosphere. Here are the very rare deep earthquake swarms showing the path of fluids being released from the subducted Pacific plate and on and on into the magma chamber, all a nonsense fairy tale that they're telling you right here. Here's the picture. Doesn't it make sense? I mean, come on. Come on, see what's going on. Have you heard about the Japan earthquake causing minor tsunami 16 hurt? Prime Minister Shinzo Abe told reporters his government would be on the maximum alert to prepare for possible rescue operations in the region and warn citizens to be vigilant for strong aftershocks. 5.8 chili rise, 5.5 La Esperance, seismic update. There's your 6.3 in Abe Bruna, Indonesia. Kicking off at 12 kilometers of depth, shaking heads. and Another magnitude 6.4 here just dropped off 24 hours ago as an aftershock to that La Esperance. Continuous rumbling happening there. We don't need to see that again. Krakatoa Volcano Sunda Strait Field Report Video June 2017. June 17th, 2019. So we're going to open this image here, which is not a smimage. It's an image. And look how small it is. It's tiny. And if we blow it up, I guarantee this is going to be extremely blurry. So I want to show you what I mean there. See how that works? <laughs> Ow! Are you in with our video? Prick. Yep. This one's big, that one's small. Ha 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 ha. Anyway. 
I digress. Now, just a couple months ago, solar experts were predicting the sun's activity in solar cycle 25 to be below average. However, they were predicting it to be equal to cycle 24, the one we're exiting out of currently in the next year. And solar cycle 25 prediction panel experts said that solar cycle 25 may have a slow start, but it's anticipated to peak with solar max occurring between 2023 and 2026 and a range of 95 to 130 spots, which will be well below average. And they have high confidence that the coming cycle will break the trend of a weakening solar activity cycle seen over the past four and be higher than cycle 24, or about the same. That's what they said over there at NOAA. It's what they said. I'll leave you links to what they said. Because they said it. I didn't say that. Tell you what I did say. Well, I already said it. <laughs> we predicted this cycle to be up to 50% weaker than cycle 24. Breaking news. NASA predicts solar cycle 25, the weakest in the last 200 years. Flipping the page, changing the names, and completely changing what they just said weeks ago. In fact... Just like the global warming alarmists and the IPCC and the global warmists who now claim that climate change causes everything from low birth weight to retardation. NASA has now flipped the script and predicting solar cycle 25 to be the weakest in the last 200 years since the Dalton minimum. Which means we're in the next grand solar minimum called the Eddy minimum. The forecast for the next solar cycle says it will be the weakest of the next of the last 200 years since the Dalton minimum, research now underway has found a more reliable, hello, McFly, it's more reliable. There's a more reliable method here, over here. You can see in the bottom corner of the screen, the more reliable method to predict the space weather. The maximum of this next cycle measured in terms of sunspot numbers could be 30 to 50% lower than the most recent one, cycle 24, making Al Gore a whore and Diamond barely a bore. The results show the next cycle will start in 2020. It won't even be funny. And that solar flares after that date will cause major perturbations to the grid, many people to die and eat their neighbors, and for many to rip their face off especially by 2025. And that's tonight's first boom. I guarantee it. Keep calm. We're going to keep going. Here's the preliminary forecast that they gave us weeks ago. The real blurry thing, which looked exactly like a photocopy of this, just blurred out and with a blue box. That's how much, that's where your tax dollars go, kids. Here's your sunspot number progression through today. Maybe yesterday. Hey, have you heard breaking news? NASA predicts solar cycle 25, the weakest since the Dalton minimum. As we descend into the Eddy minimum, it's anyone's guess whose neighbor eats who first. Did you know that there's so much CO2 in the atmosphere that planting trees can no longer save us? No longer. I didn't know how planting a tree could save me. Well, actually I did. I'm a permaculturalist, so I plant fruit trees because I'm going to gobble up all the fruit that grows off of them as it dangles off from their limbs. But that's not what they're talking about in that article, which is a article, by the way. I just interviewed 1000 Frawley PhD as Mr. Holmes over there, and he is an expat from uh, England who has moved to Australia totally, put another strip on the barbie for him, and got his own... And PhD in climate science. We had a brilliant discussion. Have you heard? It's gone viral. Check the links below for the video. I can't even tell you what we said. It's that viral. 
that you'll catch it like Ebola in your mouth. Stormy Outlook plans to hack Earth's weather using geoengineering chemtrails and everything else. And harp. Could start World War III, panic scientists warm, said no one ever but the sun. Climate change may up ending World War III, but it's going to be retarded leaders of nations like Kim Jong-un or Donald Trump and not geoengineering that actually sparks that war because a retarded oligarchic idiot has to push the button. Isn't that sound? And you voted for these pricks. They could all... Yeah. I said something about candlesticks, I think. Do you know who the Daily Caller is? That's the creepy person that makes you feel uncomfortable when the phone rings. But according to them, a nearby star may be supporting life. That's right. A nearby star may be supporting life on two newly discovered phase changes of the atmosphere, which completely blanks out the everything. <laughs> and we go blank. And we go dark. And there's Al in his window. But that plasma ball has been causing us nothing but trouble. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. It's a boom to knowledge. Top Knot's here. We're about to strap up and go to the high country early in the morning. We're going to try to make it to 12,000 feet. And we're going to look at two yet unnamed worlds recently discovered by the Institute of Space Studies of California, the IEEC, orbiting Tea Garden Star. No, we probably won't see that. But we will see amazing things up in the high country. I assure you, Nibiru will be rising. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. It's way past my bedtime. We love each and every one of you. Times are changing. Are you farming? That's my only question. That's the question of the century. Are you farming? I hope so. Be safe.